Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to cover 15 fastest growing vegetables you can grow in a crisis. So whenever there's a crisis situation, everybody runs to grocery stores and they start emptying grocery shelves. This is a perfect opportunity to start your garden or expand on your existing garden. Even if you don't have space in your backyard or something, or you live in an apartment, you can always grow some of these vegetables in containers and they grow really well in containers. Now in this video, I'm going to cover 15 fastest growing vegetables that are very nutrient dense. And for that reason, I'm not going to cover vegetables that take longer period of time to grow, such as garlic, ginger, turmeric, etc. So no matter what happens, no matter how bad the situation gets, always remember keep gardening and carry on and things will always work out so let's get started number one microgreens microgreens are very densely packed with nutrients and the best part is that microgreens only take five to ten days to grow at most 12 days if it's totally overcast or you don't have any source of light and you're just growing them indoors next to a window at most they will only take 10 to 12 days to grow now you can grow microgreens such as sunflower, broccoli, and radish. I'm summing up all microgreens in just one category. I made a video about top 5 microgreens you can grow. So check that video out, I'll leave a link to the video in the description. And the best part is that if you don't have land or you don't have space, you can always grow them on your kitchen counter as well. In addition to microgreens, you can also grow weed grass as well. You can grow wheatgrass in growing mediums such as coconut coir, and you can also grow wheatgrass without any soil, just in water as well. When I first started making videos on YouTube, I made a video on how to grow wheatgrass in growing medium and also how to grow wheatgrass without any growing medium or soil. Check those videos out. I'll leave a link to those videos in the description as well. Number two, green onions. Now green onions give you the spice and the crunch in food. While garlic takes about eight to nine months to grow, you can always grow green onions in one to two months. And you can keep harvesting green onions as they grow. You can also regrow green onions from store-bought green onions as well. You can also grow a lot of different kinds of vegetables from store-bought vegetables as well. And I made a video on that too. Number three, lettuce. Now lettuce is super easy to grow. And if you live in a colder climate, you can always germinate lettuce on heat mats and you can grow lettuce indoors as well. The best part about growing lettuce is that you can keep harvesting leaves as the lettuce grow. While kale takes a lot more time to grow, you can keep harvesting lettuce leaves as lettuce continues to grow. As soon as you have about four to five sets of leaves on lettuce, you can continue to harvest leaves from lettuce plants. And it only takes about 60 to 70 days, just about two months to harvest the whole head of lettuce as well. Number four, spinach. Spinach is also very easy to grow and is perfect to grow in spring as well along with lettuce. You can also keep harvesting leaves of spinach as spinach continues to grow. Number five, tomatoes. Now tomatoes are super easy to grow and they're everyone's favorite. Now the fastest growing tomatoes are cherry tomatoes. So if you want to grow some tomatoes in a hurry, plant some cherry tomatoes and they will produce a lot of tomatoes. You can also pinch out the suckers from tomato plants and use these cutting to root more tomato plants in water as well. This way you can exponentially increase the quantity of your tomato plants without using any more seeds. I made a detailed video on how to start tomato plants from a cutting if you're interested. The link will be in the description. Number six, potatoes. Now potatoes are also very easy to grow and they grow in about three months. Just plant some stale potatoes that are sprouting or making those eyes. Then plant them in the ground, cover them up with some loose soil, and you surely have lots of potatoes in two to three months. I made a separate video on how to grow lots of different types of potatoes, including fingerling potatoes as well. Number seven, beans. Now if you grow pole beans or bush beans, doesn't matter. Beans are very easy to grow and they're packed with nutrients. So grow some beans and keep harvesting beans as the beans continue to grow. Number eight, peas. Now peas are a cool weather crop. So if you live in a colder climate in another hemisphere, such as Canada, Peas are perfect to grow in spring. You can harvest a lot of peas from just three to four plants. Number nine, herbs. Now herbs are very important. They are known to boost your immune system and they also pack some medicinal properties as well. Herbs such as basil, mint, and oregano are really easy to grow. You can always propagate lots of herbs from cuttings. You can get a plant from a store or from a friend and use cuttings from that plant to make a lot more plants. And you can grow a lot of plants in a very quick time and they will grow like crazy. This is the fastest way to grow lots of herbs in a hurry. I made a separate video on six herbs you can grow from cuttings. And I also made a video about 10 herbs you can grow right on your kitchen counter. So check that out. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. Number 10, radish. Radish is one of the fastest growing vegetables. You can grow radish in just one month. 
Number 11, beets. Beets are super easy to grow and they grow in about three months. However, the best part is that you can eat the leaves of beets as well. So as the beet plants are growing, you can harvest leaves from the beet plants as well. Number 12, turnips. Turnips grow in about two months and they have the spicy, crunchy flavor that I really like. Now, turnips are not everyone's favorite. However, I highly encourage you to try turnips or try growing turnips in your garden if you haven't done so. The turnips that you grow in your own garden actually taste much better than the store-bought turnips. So, try planting some turnips and you can harvest a lot of turnips from a very small area. Number 13, carrots. Now, you can also harvest a lot of carrots from a small area as well. Just make sure you have a lot of loose soil, a lot of compost in your garden, and then try to plant some carrots and you can harvest carrots in about three months. Number 14, eggplants. Now if you live in an area where it's already starting to warm up in spring, you can just grow eggplants directly in your garden outside. However, if you live in a colder climate, you can start the seeds indoors and plant eggplants outside later in the spring. Number 15, squash. Now squash gives you the most bang for the buck as far as weight is concerned. Squashes grow really huge and they're heavy and you can add them to pastas, you can even roast them and then add them to salads as well. I really like my squash roasted or oven roasted and they taste really good. Again, if you live in an area where it's already getting warm in spring, you can sow squash seeds directly outside in your garden and they will grow just fine. However, if you live in a colder area, start squash seeds inside and move them out later in the spring. And squashes will grow really fast and very crazy and you can get really big squashes in a very short amount of time. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're staying positive no matter what the situation is. Just keep gardening, keep connected with nature, enjoy some time with your family and friends, just stay in touch with them, call them, see how they're doing, and no matter what the situation is, as long as we're connected with nature and we're living the nature's way of life, everything shall pass and everything will work out just fine. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.